everybody, and welcome back to the South 78 Football Show. I am Trellis Williams right here with Coach Chris Thigpen of the Terry Bulldogs. We are right here at Raising Canes here in Byron, Mississippi. For the spring game will be on Friday, and this is the uh, show, the spring show special here today. And, Coach, you got you a fresh team. You got you the team that's going to be the Terry Bulldogs football team for the 2023 season. You've been able to see them through spring practice, and now you're about to come up on a spring game where you take on uh, Lawrence County. So how has the team, what is your evaluation of the team so far in spring camp? Well, well, so far I like what I'm seeing. I mean, just this atmosphere here tonight and, you know, at a local Raising Canes is, is, is good, uh, really good vibes um, from the team, really good vibes from the coaches, uh, really good vibes from our support system. And, uh, you know, uh, this is arguably maybe one of the most talented teams we've had here. Uh, it Terry since I've been here so um, I'm excited to see those guys play I think they're ready to play you know you, you go so many days in spring uh, competing against each other uh, you get to the point to where you just want to play somebody else and I think we're at that point finishing up our final week of spring uh, before you know the end of year and graduation etc for sure and, and last year you had you a really stellar defensive line uh, Full of seniors, uh, obviously you're losing those guys to graduation. How's your, how's your guy, how the guys on the team, have, how have they stepped up to fill those shoes? Well, um, you know, as far as defense, we, we got some young guys we feel really good about on the defensive line. Yes, we did lose three guys to college and graduation, um, but we got some guys coming that we feel excited about. Um, our linebacking core, we, we think we improved in that area. Uh, you know, we, we, we think we got two really good, talented guys, two guys um, that already have scholarship offers. And then our secondary, we return everybody in our secondary, and uh, we were able to, uh, you know, add another really talented player. So um, I, I expect our defense to still be lights out, uh, make big plays and create turnovers and get stops when we need them. So last year you had Jordan McGee start quarterback as a sophomore last season. Now you have a new quarterback coming in. You're shifting him over to the running back. Introduce us to uh, this new uh, quarterback that you're bringing in here to Terry. Yeah, um, our new quarterback, um, uh, his name is Ashton Fair. He comes from a great family. Uh, he's a very cerebral uh, type of player. Um, you know, he has a lot of game experience under his belt. Um, he sees the whole field very well. Um, and, and he has the right temperament um, that you want in that position. Never seen him get too high, never seen him get too low. Uh, he's, he's been a leader uh, for us, you know, in, in spring uh, since he uh, transferred and enrolled at Terry. So we're excited about him. Um, a lot of people around the state are excited uh, to see what this year Terry Bulldogs will look like, and uh, I, I am as well. So, Yeah, and so with that shift that you're making, you had Jordan McGee who did a lot of offensive damage for the te that Terry Bulldogs team last season, especially on the on the run. And now you're shifting them over to uh, running back, getting them to focus on running there. How, how do you think that shift is going to be to uh, your team's advantage? Well, normally, you know, you – it's hard to replace 70 to 80 percent of your offensive production year in and year out. Well, if Jordan had 70 percent of the offensive production and he's coming back and we've added some more, you know, uh, players around him, some more guys develop, um, I'm, I'm excited. You know, Will Johnson is coming back. Um, he was the second leading receiver. Uh, of course, Jordan McGee. Um, you have Ashton at quarterback. Um, we had another kid move in all as well at receiver that we, we think was going to be uh, pretty productive. And uh, Donovan Young will be back with that group. So offensively, we have guys in spots that we would like to have guys in spots. And so uh, Jordan is here today, and uh, he's, he's had a tremendous offseason as well. Absolutely. And uh, next season, uh, you guys, there was the whole reclassification of the uh, regions in the state of Mississippi. And uh, you guys stay in 6A, but we'll have a new region with some teams that are moving up to 6A. And uh, you guys are, are staying uh, 6A there. 
Now, you have the changes where you have six teams in the region, four teams can make the playoffs, a more generous path to the playoffs. But how do you think uh, – still still high competition, still high yeah, competition yeah, yeah, from yeah. these opponents. How do you think uh, your guys are going to adjust to the new region? Well, you know, it's like I told – Coaches that asked me about it, parents has asked me about it, I had administrators ask me about it, you know, and I told them all the same. It won't be any tougher than what we faced the last three seasons um, in region play. Um, we've added Hattiesburg, West Jones, Pearl River Central, Jim Hill, Forest Hill, and ourselves. And so, uh, you know, Hattiesburg played for a state championship, I believe, in 18 or 19 in Oxford. West Jones won it um, a few years ago, defeating West Point. So, you know, those are really solid football programs that have been contenders, you know, um, the last few years. And uh, they have proud football uh, programs. And so, you know, even though we're not going against uh, the teams we've traditionally gone against since we've been in 6A, um, I do like the region. I think it's a very uh, balanced region um, when it comes to resources, when it comes to you know, school size, um, I think it's very balanced. And uh, But I like how we match up. I like how we match up. I think, you know, when they decided to make a seven classification, um, it helped 6A out. It helped maybe 5A out some because a lot of 6A was top heavy. And so by them splitting 6 and 5A, that kind of balanced out some of those high school teams. And um, I'm excited for not just our program, but – uh, you know, a lot of programs across the state. Yeah, so last season uh, your team had significant success, starting the season off 3-0, and defeating Pearl for the first time in school history as well. But you also had the things that were that were tough with injuries, mm -hmm. also with some tough losses there to Northwest Rankin and Meridian games that could have won that, that ended kind of uh, in a close fashion. What are some of the lessons that the coaching staff and the players that you're returning players learned from last season? Well, I think, you know, first and foremost, you know, you got to control the things that you can control, and uh, you got to play well late in the season. You know, you have to play well late in the season. The margin for error goes down um, the later you go in the season. Um, that's something our, our players realize, something our coaches realize. Um, and so we face um, probably one of the more competitive uh group of teams to play late in the year but um, I think we have a really good non-region uh, schedule coming up this fall uh, that'll help prepare us for that and so I really like the balance of our upcoming schedule. Now let's turn our attention to this Friday spring game down at uh, Colin taking on Lawrence County. Uh, what what are your goals that you would want to see realized for your team in that game? Well I want to see our guys uh, you know play together you know it's their first time we, we have a few new faces so I want to see us play together I want to see us handle adversity um, I want to see us you know uh, rise to the occasion uh, one of my goals the last two years as head coach is I wanted to take my team and allow them to play on a college campus and Colin gave us that opportunity um, they have a really nice stadium they have field turf they have they got you know a really uh, a historic place to play yeah and so um, I want our guys to have that experience um, some of them will play on the, le the next level but not all of them will so in in making memories with high school football you know I think um, I want to make a good memory I want to see them make a really good memory um, this Friday at Colin Absolutely, and that is our interview right there with Coach Chris Thigpen. Good to do another show again after a long break after last season. We're looking forward to the 2023 fall season, they were and we're also looking forward to uh, Friday night in the spring game against Lawrence County. Be sure to hit the subscribe button on the THM Network. We've got more interviews coming up. All right, welcome back. I am Trellis Williams. Right here with me is R.J. Hall of the Terry Bulldogs. And, man, ha you've had the spring. You've had the spring uh, training camp. Uh, what have you seen from uh, your team, and, and how would you evaluate the team so far? The team been playing very physical lately. We've been working. We've been conditioning. Everything been going smoothly. We just got to get more chemistry, you know. There's a lot of new players. For sure. And with the talent that you have on this roster, what, what are the expectations uh, for this ball team uh, this coming season? 
I feel like we should make a very good run this year. We should make it to the playoffs. We should we should get deep in the playoffs this year. If we don't, then we ain't meet the expectation that we're supposed to be at. Yeah, and, uh, it, it, and I understand what you're saying, especially because of the new region. You have the situation where you get the four teams out of six. Do, do you view this team as a team that has, has had an improvement from last year? Uh, from last year, because I mean, last year you had some injuries there. Uh, so, what do you think yeah. about this team as I opposed feel like, to last year? I feel like a couple of areas last year was better. Like the D line last year was stronger yeah. than this year, but our D line still physical. But I feel like our DB group, they all back, so that's our strongest. And our Rob Seal we just got to get more chemistry with our quarterback. And we'll be straight. But our weakest point, our old line, but all they need is like a little more work, and they'll be they'll be up there. Yep. Uh, what are you most excited for about this Friday game against Lawrence County uh, down in Wesson? I'm most excited to see where we at, see how how our spring health came, see how it all put together. So coming up on this upcoming season, who is somebody on the schedule that you have particularly circled on that calendar? Hattiesburg, man. I, I got to play Hattiesburg. I can't wait to play Hattiesburg, man. This is my hometown. That's where oh, I grew yeah. up from. Like The whole team, I know everybody from both sides of the ball. I just can't wait to play them. It's going to be fun. Just can't wait to play them. Oh, yeah, understood for sure, man. Appreciate you. Right. Uh, appreciate RJ joining us. We got more interviews coming right up. We're right here with Dorian Hunter, a wide receiver for this Terry Bulldogs football team. We're coming into the spring football game here on Friday night. Uh, so from what you've seen in the spring training, what what is your evaluation of this ball club? I feel like the ball going to be a great game Friday. I feel like we're going to go out there and play our hearts out yeah, with a lot of skill. Yeah. For sure. And with the talent that exists on this roster, what are your expectations for this team going into this season with the new region and a good chance of making the playoffs there? I feel like we have a real great chance of making the playoffs with all the skill we got. we just got to be a chemistry. Absolutely. And what is the aspect um, that you're most excited about heading down to Wesson Friday night to step on that field and play that game against Lawrence County. I'm just ready to play against another team. Just to show our talent, show how, really, how good we really are and how the chemistry we built. Yeah, and I can tell you're uh, real excited about this upcoming season, but what is the one game that you circle on your calendar the most? Oh, we'll go against Provine. A... Oh, yeah, for sure. So, take, yeah, taking on Provine this year. That'll be a good one uh, there. Man, I appreciate Dorian uh, for joining us, and we got some more interviews coming up. I'm right here with J.J. Jones, running back and linebacker for the Terry Bulldogs football team for this 2023 football season. You had spring training camp. From what you've seen from your guys and yourself, uh, what is your evaluation of this ball club? Uh, I feel like we've been doing good. You know, everybody got to get to know each other and stuff like that. We got to get team chemistry. So once we get that down back and the district going to come behind it anyway because we're going to be bonded and stuff like that. So I feel like it's, it's coming all over. With the talent that exists on this roster, uh, what are your expectations for uh, for this team in the fall? We should, we should make it to the championship, really. We're going to win it because it's a lot of talent on this team, you know. So we should make it. Yeah, and so uh, heading down to Colin on Friday night uh, to take on uh, Lawrence County in that spring game, what are you most excited about for stepping on that field? Uh, just to, just to hit somebody else from spring <laughs> because we've been hitting each other all spring long. I just, you know, want to hit somebody else and get a new feeling for somebody else. So out of all those teams uh, that you guys are going to play, those 10 games that are scheduled for the 2023 season, what is that one game that you circle the most on your calendar? Probably Hattiesburg. Hattiesburg for sure. We are right here with the new quarterback for the Terry Bulldogs football team, Ashton Fair. And uh, Ashton, uh, coming into this spring, uh, you're, you're joining a new uh, new ball club here with Coach Thigpen and a new a new team. Um, so, man, what has been your evaluation of this ball club throughout spring training camp? Basically, just building a brotherhood with new new players, new teams, and just you know being felt like you already was there from since you was little. So that that's the biggest part for me, just. Already fitting in. Absolutely, and with the talent that exists on this roster, what are your expectations uh, for the fall season? My expectations are that we gonna go far, as long as we play together and just not only play together, but as long as we 
on stay on one accord. That that's our biggest goal is just go big. Like there is no need to put your trust in your brothers and then when it comes to game day you're not able to execute with your brothers. So that that's the biggest part for me. So you're uh, going to go face off against Lawrence County there on Friday night in that spring ball game down at uh, Colin. Uh, what, do you, what aspect of that game are you most excited about? Um, just being able to play with my brothers. Like, just being able to start new. That's the biggest thing, being able to adjust to a new system, new people, and just a new environment. Yeah, and uh, and – you are transferring in, obviously, but this team, this school is uh, going into a new region anyway, so you're starting uh, fresh with a, with a school that's starting fresh in a new region uh, with a good opportunity to make the playoffs there. What is one game on that schedule that uh, you circle the most on that calendar? I actually circle every game because I feel like everybody got to come through us now. Yeah. Like, it's not just going to be a pushover now. Like, we, we more dedicated and motivated. Like, you got to come through us this year. That, that's the biggest part for me. Not just being able to let nobody push us over no more. Like, you you got to come see us this year. Absolutely. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing this Terry Bulldogs football team this year. Appreciate having you yes, for sir. sure, Ashton. Thank you. Thank and we got some more coming up. I'm right here with Frederick Fair, uh, Ashton Fair's dad. He's a, he's the uh, new coming uh, quarterback for the Terry Bulldogs. And uh, and uh, Frederick, so going into this season, uh, your son's going to be the uh, quarterback for this Terry Bulldogs football team. He yeah. just came in, just transferred in. Uh, how excited are you uh, to see your son uh, out there on the field this upcoming season? I'm very excited for this upcoming season. He's been working a whole lot trying to build himself, so – I'm very excited to see all the work he's been putting into it. Yeah, so uh, for Terry, it's, uh, they're in a new region, a situation where the top four out of six teams in the region make the playoffs, so a, a better chance of making the playoffs. And uh, Coach Thick been very excited about Ashton coming in. Um, what, what, it, of what you've heard from your son and what you've seen from this spring training, uh, what would be, what, how are you thinking about this team? What are you thinking about this team? I'm thinking they will make a, 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 a good playoff run. They, they will make the playoffs this year. It's a lot going on for them. As and very excited. They have a, a, he has a very good supporting cast around him. Yep. Good receivers, good running backs. They line coming along pretty good. Uh, their defense is awesome. I, yeah. I'm ready to see. I'm ready to see what they got going on. Oh yeah, for sure. So uh, now I want to ask you about uh, Terry High School. So your son transferred to Terry High School. How do you feel that uh, your son's Terry High School experience has been? Um, his Terry High School experience has been very good. Like I have, a, I got a call today from one of his teachers. He have, he got a program Monday for an academic award. So awesome. He's doing good on the field, doing good in class. Everybody loves him. They they speak, they speak very highly of him. So he he, he just very good to six eight. Hello everybody. I'm Charles Williams. Right here with me is Christy Gilbert. Uh, Jorian Hunter's mother, um, and so, uh, and so, Christy, I, I want to ask you this uh, first question. Coming in, you got the spring uh, right here. Your son's about to be playing here on Friday night. Uh, just of what you've heard from your son, uh, how excited are you about seeing him uh, play on that field? I'm very excited about him getting on that field of plans. Very excited. Abs absolutely, and. Um, so what what have you, what have you gathered from your son of his experience? Uh, how, like how excited is he about playing? I think he's ready to go to college with this, take it to the next level. He loves football. Oh, yeah, for sure. And uh, so now, now he's going to Terry High School. What has his experience at Terry High School been? As a mother, how satisfied are you with his experience at Terry High School? I recommend anybody to take their kids to Terry High School. I love it. I'm right here with DJ Michael, uh, J.J. Jones' dad, and I just want to ask you this. So from what you've heard from your son and what you've seen, uh, you got this Friday game uh, taking on Lawrence County there at Colin. Uh, what are you expecting to see from this team on Friday just based on what you've heard and what you've seen? I'm ready to see some hungry dogs eat, man. <laughs> Look, they, they ready. They've been – a lot of these kids been 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 working hard for years. 
even before today, even before they got to this one team, a lot of these kids been working since they were like eight, seven, eight years old. You're going to see a bunch of kids ready to play some football. Yeah, looking forward to it for sure. What are you expecting from the team coming into the fall? Because you got a new region, a uh, good opportunity to make the playoffs there with that new region. Um, you got the <laughs> got the schedule set. Uh, what are you expecting uh, from that full season? Me personally, I don't really see things working out for other teams. <laughs> 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 I mean, just like I say, just mainly because – they're, 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 they all are ready. They're ready to play. They're hungry. And with that being said, you can't you can't lose like that, man. You can, but I don't see it happening as far as, like, because everybody's locked in. Everybody ready to play some football. And as far as the new region, it's going to be all right because it's going to be all right. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm willing to bet you it's going to be all right. All right, yeah, good deal. So, uh, it's a, from uh, talking with your son about it, uh, what kind? What level of excitement do you sense from your son and his teammates? Really, it's it's a it's a level of excitement that I haven't seen in a while yeah. from, from a group of kids about something positive. So they're all, like I said, they're all anxious and ready to play. So Friday, the game might start thirty minutes early just because they're ready to play. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it's scheduled, it's scheduled for like seven, seven thirty, but because everybody gonna be so ready to play, man, and everybody locked in, it's gonna be a good one. You gonna be there? Absolutely, be calling the game. Okay, well, yeah, gonna be on the network. You'll see that, man. I'm, nice. I'm serious. It's gonna be, it's gonna be some exciting, man. We got, you know, what I'm saying we got good. We got good backs, we got good quarterbacks, we got good receivers, we got good linemen, we got great coaches. It's just so many good components coming together that you can't do them but get in the stands and cheer, baby. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're looking forward to it. And uh, on that note, uh, DJ, appreciate you joining us. No problem. Sure. Appreciate you for having me. Absolutely, for sure. We got some more coming up. Already. Hello, everybody. We are right here with Coach Connor, Byron Middle School football coach and uh coach you this will be your first year uh at byron middle school coaching football uh what attracted you to byron middle school man just the the the, the will and the want of these young men who want to come out and, and play the game you know and learn the game my first year i came and when i met with coach Dick, and i told him that was one of the first things i see that you don't really get you know young men really just want to come and get better yeah. And uh, when I came out that spring, and just the, the way those guys was hungry and thirsty for the game and wanted to play, you know, you know, you can go to a school that probably winning or something like that, but I don't worry about that. I love – I can turn winning. I just need the guys, and I seen that. So that was a good attraction. And just the faculty, staff, and just everyone kind of like had on opening and welcoming. So it, it was a lot of reasons, but those were the main reasons. <laughs> for sure, for sure. And uh, how are you? And uh, you kind of alluded to this a little bit. How are you and Coach Thickpin working towards program alignment? Because you'll be some of the players that will play for you will go on to Terry High School where Coach Thickpin's coaching. H how are you guys working together on that? Well, I know it would be new for the kids, but it wouldn't be new for me because that's how it was when I was in school. Yep. Uh, my middle school, we pretty much did the same thing when we were going to high school. So when we got to high school, we was already – ahead on learning. We didn't have to worry about the learning curve. So I think that's going to be really the main thing we're trying to align as far as in making sure that we are doing the same thing that high school is doing. Modeling. Maybe have to do some adjustment according to our talent, you know, but plays and things like that, we're going to try to make sure we mirror the high school because we want to try to build that feeder program system. And Coach Dick Penn, you know, we always speak about that. That's really about elevating the program. When you get the middle school on the same thing the high school doing, and I think that's a, that a really good sign of winning football. Yep. And so, th so these uh, kids that uh, that you're coaching, these kids are growing up into young men. And uh, so, h how do you view your role as a leader of young men? Being truthful first, honest. Um, make sure you hold them accountable. That's the main thing. Holding them accountable. Not trying to be so strict because I know they are young men and they are still growing. I don't know everything. They don't know everything. So we're gonna grow together. But one thing I do know is to make sure I supervise them, watch them. That's to minimize the mistake, right? And the next thing to do, I don't have so many rules. I think I like to lead by example. So the first thing they're going to do is they're going to see me. I'm going to try to make sure I be there every time, on time, yep. coming to work. And they're not just football. You know, that's even in the classroom. So, you know, they're going to see me in every aspect of my life 
that I'm trying to make sure that I be a good role model for them. I mean, like I said, we all fall short of, 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 of I don't want to say perfect because that's, we're, we're not perfect. Yep. But at the same time, I do know that I can make sure I lead those guys and, and, and give them hope, I would say, and encouragement and drive to, for them to stay out of trouble and, and take this serious and learn that this is the path to success, right? Now, it's a lot of things I can say with leadership, but, you know, man, we'll be here all day. <laughs> <laughs> I am for sure. And uh, so my last question is, so what type of team, what would be the word that you would describe the type of team you're trying to build here at Byron? Well, could I – could I add four more words to it? I know uh, you, you can say as many words you can. Well, yeah. <laughs> what, what the team I'm trying to build, we're going to go by playing tough, fast, we're going to be smart, disciplined, and relentless. And I think with those five traits, that is this, that is that is what going to build this program, especially in middle school, and try to build these guys off those five traits that will help them when they get to high school. Like I said again, you know, tough, fast, smart. Discipline and relentless. And that's what we're going to drive off of and try to let that control us and guide us. So. Coach Connor, appreciate, you, ha Sir, appreciate, appreciate you. you joining us right here at the Raising Canes. And, folks, thank you for joining us. We appreciate Raising Canes for hosting this show, the South 78 football show, the spring edition. We're looking forward to the spring game on Friday night. Check it out on the TSJW Network. It will be there as the Terry Bulldogs will play against Lawrence County. Thank you all for joining us. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well. Comment and check out the Instagram at TSJW Network. Thank you for joining us. I am Trellis Williams. We out.